Hello everyone and welcome! For a while now, I've wanted to review a multimeter that would be useful to both hobbyists slash beginners and professional or experienced users. It was a difficult challenge since there are so many multimeters to choose from and I wanted to find the best one for the broadest range of users. Also, being the bargain hunter that I am, I wanted to find the best multimeter that gave you the most features for the money. After a long search, I think I finally found one. So today we're going to be looking at the Kweets KM601 multimeter. This multimeter is smart enough to help the inexperienced hobbyist understand what they need to do when testing electrical things. And it also has all the features that an experienced user will want. Plus, it also has a few extra features that many multimeters will not bring. So let's open this puppy up and see what we have. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. And let's open this puppy up and see what we get. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the Kweets KM601 Digital Multimeter, available on Amazon and at the Kweets website. I'll put both links down below in the description so you can find whichever one gives you the best deal at the given time. At the making of this video, this unit, this whole kit, retails for $45.99. And there may be some discount codes on the Amazon page or the Kweets page, so check that out and save yourself more money if you can. Now this unit comes with a 3 year warranty which is pretty long compared to many other manufacturers and what you get in the package is you get the multimeter itself, you get a nice hard case, that's a good hard case to keep it in, keep it protected when you're not using it. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to use it, how to service it, warranty, all that kind of good stuff so I suggest you read through that. You get two sets of batteries, you only need one but they include an extra set for you just because. Hey, you know, why not get you get a free set of batteries? That's a good deal right there. You get a set of test leads right there, which are three feet long. And you get a thermal coupler right here, which is also about three feet long for testing temperature. Now the dimensions on this unit are 6.5 inches in height, 3.35 inches in width, and only 0.98 inches, so less than an inch in thickness. The weight on the unit is only 9 ounces, and it comes with a nice convenient silicon protective case which treats it basically like a cell phone. It is about the size of a cell phone. If you want to compare it to an, a regular cell phone right there, there you have a size comparison, so you can see exactly how it's about the same size as a cell phone. And that's the beauty of this, it's practically like a cell phone fits in your pocket or anything like that where it's very convenient for you to carry it around. It has a nice color LCD display which I'll show you in a moment and it has auto shut off so you protect the batteries and don't wear them out needlessly. It also has a built in flashlight which I'll demonstrate in a little bit but that's very convenient because you can light up the surface that you're working on whatever it may be if you're in a dark area you can light up what you're working on and the screen also lights up very nicely so you have all the lighting you need even in dark areas to see what you're doing and light up what you're working on. Now this unit comes with auto sensing for voltage, resistance and continuity as I'll show you in a moment when I turn it on. It has lead indicator LEDs down here where they light up and that's what I like about it for the novice, the person just starting out. Sometimes you may not know based upon what you select where the lead should go. So when you make a selection as to what you want to be testing, it'll tell you down here it lights up and it shows you where the leads need to be plugged in. So that's very convenient, again, for the novice, the person just starting out. Not everybody knows everything, so I'm trying to help all you guys from beginner to experienced all the way in between. It also has temperature sensing, like I said earlier, and it also has NCV, non-contact voltage testing, so you don't need a thermometer when you have this, and you don't need one of these guys either because this is built into this guy. So by having this, you get extra things that a lot of other multimeters out there do not include. It's not your basic multimeter, it has extra functions built in. This unit also comes with an anti-burn with double fuses for overload protection. And it tells you on the screen, it has a display that tells you when the fuse is burned out and that you need to just open it up and replace it like a regular multimeter. Now this unit is IEC rated at CAT3 for 1000 volts and CAT4 for 600 volts. 
This unit can measure AC-DC voltage, resistance, continuity, AC-DC current, capacitance, frequency, diodes, duty cycle, temperature, NCV, and live wire. The accuracy on this unit is as low as 0.01 millivolts, 0.001 volts, 0.001 milliamps, 0.001 amps, 0.001 ohms, and 0.001 hertz, so it's really quite accurate. So this unit is excellent for all electrical diagnosing such as automotive, industrial, household, hobbyist, all that kind of good stuff. Anything you need, this unit should be able to help you out. So let me turn it on, show you the screen, show you a few things that it can do, and let's do some testing and see how it performs. All right, guys, so here's a close-up shot of you of the unit itself, and I'm having to keep it at a weird angle because it reflects light and everything else like crazy, and I know that can be very distracting when you're watching the video, so I have to keep it at a slight angle so it doesn't reflect anything. So anyway, you can see the screen right there is off. I'm going to turn it on right now, and then it comes to life. And you see, it, first of all, it goes right to auto mode. And then you see down here how it starts lighting up the LED indicators, telling you what leads you need to plug in for the given selection. And then once you plug it in to start touching something, it'll settle on what the reading needs to be. And it'll go from there. And then you see all the controls right there, very easy to handle right there at the bottom. So looking at it from the side, there you see it's not a very thick unit. There you have the auto power on off button right there. And if you have the auto power on off, it'll turn itself off after a few seconds to conserve the batteries. There you have the back of it. It's a very nice silicone case right there. There's the flashlight right there and the buttons over here on this side. And you can turn on the flashlight to light up your work area. There you have the other side right there. And on top you have the on off power button right there the NBC sensor right over there and then at the bottom that's where you plug in all your leads so there you go let's start testing this puppy and see what it can do all right so let's start off by doing a little bit of NCV testing non-contact voltage testing here we have the little cheap inexpensive non-contact voltage tester from Harbor Freight let's see what that guy says I have this power strip that is plugged in and turned on so if we press the button on this put it right there that's the neutral nothing happens on this side that's the hot right there so neutral and the hot, and it tells you right there how that works. With this one, all you do is select NCV up there on the screen, and you don't need to do anything. All you do is put it right next to the wire and put the tester right here close to the wire. There you go. That's your neutral right there. It lights up green. Move it over to the other side. That's your hot right there. Lights up red. Tells you exactly what's going on very conveniently. And you can, you can see it for testing on the wire as well. Of course, on something like this where it's all bundled up into a round tube, you can't tell very well. But if you have two individual wires side by side, you can test a lot better which is which. But right there you can see it kind of senses it, but it's very difficult because it's all wrapped up in a circle. But it tells you right there, that's hot right there. So it works very well as far as that goes. Let's do something else. All right, so let's do a little bit of voltage testing. So as you can see, I set up the leads. I set it up on AC testing for voltage right there. And all you, you can select between AC or DC. I selected AC right now. Have it plugged into the test strip right here. And the probes have the tips on it are very convenient. You can remove these two protective ends on it. So it goes further into electrical connectors like that. So you have a nice longer metal end to it that you can plug into things like that and do some probing with them. So that's very cool right there. And as you can see right there, it's showing 119 volts and 60 hertz up above. So that tells you right there exactly the power that's going through that power strip right there. So it's very accurate. We know in North America, we have 110 to 120 and 60 hertz. So that's what you have right there. Very nice indeed. All right, so let's do a little bit of DC voltage testing. Let's test this little battery right here and see the power that it puts out. But let me show you what I was talking about, the test leads where you see how you have the longer probes. These protective covers come off making it easy for you to be able to poke into deeper areas where you need the probe to go in a bit further. So let's see, right now I have it set to DC and if we check this out right here, put in the little battery right there, put the test on both ends and you see right there 1.6 volts. If you look at the screen over there, 1.6 volts, that tells you exactly how it's fluctuating. There you go, 1.6 volts. That tells you exactly right there the DC voltage in this battery. All right, so let's do a little testing for ohms. I have it selected to ohms right now. So if you touch the two leads, you see what you get right there. And then right now, I have this simple little switch right now that we're going to test if it works or not. The ohms, the resistance going through it. So you take the two leads, you plug it into the ends here. 
and then you see it does its testing right there then turn it on or off let's see what and let's switch it around a bit and see and there you go it starts doing its hunting and it tells you what's going on right there and you also see a bar graph at the bottom that tells you what it's doing switch it again there you go switch it back there you go and you see it's testing it as it goes so it's very sensitive, does a nice job. Indeed, right there, testing the ohms. All right, guys, let's test the thermal couple and see how that performs. So you see I have the sensor put into it right now. I have it already set to checking temperature and so forth. And it's set to Celsius on the bottom and Fahrenheit on top. And you see if I touch it between my fingers, you can see it starts changing right there. And I have a cup of ice water right here. I'm gonna put it in there right now and it should start changing and dropping considerably. So let's do that. And there you go. So it shows you right away how cold that water is on the multimeter. So that's very convenient. Not all multimeters will have this function built into it. So that's very convenient right there. All right, guys, there you have it. A review, testing, and demonstration of the KWEATS KM601 multimeter. I think this is a great multimeter for the money. It has the functions of several tools built into it. So it's not your basic multimeter. It is very compact and lightweight. It has a very large and easy to read display and is also smart in that it helps the beginner figure out what they need to do and also has all the functions that an experienced user will be looking for. It gives you both digital and analog bar graph displays all in one. It has all the functions that most users will be looking for in a multimeter at a very affordable price. If you're looking for the most advanced and easy to use digital multimeter on the market, I suggest you check out this guy right here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.